All right, welcome to hopefully the final video on this bike, the Kawasaki KX80. I picked this up for 250, and um, if you guys watched last video, we finally got it running correctly. Um, top speed was 55 miles per hour. Now I'm just gonna clean it up here and then post it up for sale. Um, but cleaning it up, we saw that the pipe was kind of flopping in the wind, and I found out the reason why was that somebody had cut the pipe right here. So this needs to be welded back up right, right here. And um, this needs to be drained of oil. As you can see, it was already dripping all over the floor and on the bike. Um, so this is really packed full of oil. I'm going to take this out, take the packing out that's drenched in oil. And uh, it's just, I don't know if I have repacking or not, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to take out all the packing, all the oil, and then maybe this has oil in it too. I'm not sure. Then drain everything out, clean up the bike, and post it up for sale. The plan is to post it up for sale for 800 bucks and sell it within 24 hours. So it's going to be kind of like the KX80 um, 24 hour challenge. So we're going to try to sell this guy in 24 hours for $800. Uh, I'm going to post it to Craigslist, we're going to post it to Facebook, we're going to post it to forums. We're going to post it everywhere and see if we can sell this thing in 24 hours. Um, usually I sell bikes within at least 48 hours. So 24 hours might be a bit of a challenge. but. Uh, we will see. Hopefully I can get it cleaned up here pretty quickly and we can post it for sale. So stay tuned. This is the before picture right here. So take a mental image. As you can see, it's pretty gunked up with oil and stuff all over the place. And then the other side looks like this. Look at the motor all gunked up in there. That's all gunked up. Then we're going to do an after picture after I use this stuff. This stuff is the best stuff ever. Gunk engine degreaser. I use this all the time. It instantly takes up oil from the engine or any plastics or anything. Highly recommend this stuff. I've used other stuff before that's not the gunk brand and it does not work at all. So this stuff is the best. Get the orange and, um, orange and blue kind. The other kind does not work that great. So. Not sponsored, gunk works great. Um, and then you can go on the plastics with brake cleaner, any type of brake cleaner, just to get off that extra residue. So we're gonna do brake cleaner, or not brake cleaner, but the engine degreaser all throughout the engine on the swing arm, it'll take this off so easily. Um, this box right here, we're gonna go through. Um, you can use the engine degreaser on all this crap. It'll take everything right off. Use it on the plastics, the seat, and see how the seat's kind of stained, it should take that right off too. It takes any type of grease off. And then I usually go over with WD-42 to get that shine when you take a picture. But um, that's coming up next. Um, so next time you see this, it will be a clean bike. Right now. Alright guys, just got done cleaning the bike. It's looking pretty good. Um, it's pretty much the best I could get it. It was pretty, pretty dirty. But uh, that's the after shot of it. As you can see, the motor is pretty good now. Swing arm is completely redone. All this stuff is clean in here. Back side of the bike. The motor is a lot better now. It's full shot of the bike again. All this stuff in here, this won't come off right here. But in here, I cleaned that as best as I could. And so on the swing arm, all the plastics, I, these were all scraped up, but I cleaned it as best as I could. Um, all the plastics up here I cleaned, the rims were all crappy, cleaned all those. Uh, I couldn't get in here, but uh, otherwise the rims look really good. Sprocket was all gunked. Um, pipe was good. This plastic piece was all crappy right here, cleaned that up. So now we're going to post it, and uh, hopefully we can get 800 bucks for it. So I'm going to take pictures of it right now. We're going to take usually from the front, from the side angle, from the back. From this angle and then I do an over-the-top shot too like that so should be interesting I'm probably gonna post it for 950 bucks and just hope for 800 bucks so the front tires are good still back tires a little bit bald on the back so that might be a problem with the selling point otherwise it runs and drives great no other issues except you guys know that there's the uh, the yeah, little little JB Weld right there, which I'm going to disclaim that in the description when I sell the bike. 
but it's not a huge deal. Yeah, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, brand new coolant, brand new oil, uh, everything else is pretty good to go. Um, you guys know it runs and drives great. Um, I welded up the pipe, so that's all good. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So let's go post it on Facebook and Craigslist and the forums and see what we get for it. All right guys, just got done taking the pictures and here is how they turned out. They turned out pretty well. It's pretty sunny day, so it wasn't too bad. So again, getting all these angles of it, got a close up of the motor, got the front end view. Some of these I'm not gonna use either. This side of the bike, that side of the bike, a top view, a front end view, and then kind of like the angled back view. And then that's it. So right now we're gonna go to Facebook and we're going to upload this right now. So you're gonna click on the sell button and then vehicles. And uh, let's see, Wi-Fi is very slow right now. I'm gonna add some photos here. So um, the first picture you pick is gonna be the best one. So we're gonna add this one right here. One, and then just go down the line right here. Motor one, that one, that one was pretty good. That one, that one, that one. We click next. Vehicle type. It's a motorcycle. Year. 1996 make Kawasaki model KX80 fuel type gasoline price so right now we're gonna put it up for 950 and we're gonna hope to get 800 bucks for it so description usually I put in Let's see if I can do this. Very nice Kawasaki KX80 runs and drives great with zero issues. And then I'm going to do a couple of more things. So let me just type up the rest of this and then we'll click the next button. So hang on here. All right, so after the description's done right here, we're going to um, list some of the tags. So I don't know, I'm just gonna click on every single one available. Um, and then click next. Next. We're missing the mileage on this bad boy. So just type in like, I don't know if you can do 100 miles or not, but we're just gonna do 100 miles. You can. Type in 500 miles, click next. And these are all the forums and groups that I have. So Wisconsin ATV and dirt bike sale page, Central, let me just zoom in on here. Central Wisconsin ATVs for sale trade, Midwest Auto Sellers, Wisconsin Power, Power Sports for sale. And uh, we're just gonna use the marketplace for right now and then if it doesn't sell within the next couple hours, I'm gonna use these pages. So click publish and it should upload. All right, so there is the picture. Looks pretty good. Then you can swipe through and see all the other pictures. So as you can see, very vivid images, very bright, grabs your attention right away, especially with the first picture. Um, as you can see, it looks very cool. The purple coming through, the green coming through, very bright, um, grabs your attention. And then I have it up for 950. As you can see, I didn't put it up for 1000 because your mind kind of thinks like when it hits a thousand, it's like, oh, that might be too much. So I always go a little bit below a thousand. I don't do like 999 either, because usually that's like a scam. So I go to like 950 or like 925 or 975 or like 900 bucks. And then just hope to get 800 because everyone lowballs. So then we're going to go back here and uh, top picks in Oshkosh today, as you can see, these come up. Hopefully mine will be up there pretty soon. So now all we do is wait, and then while I'm waiting, I can upload it to Craigslist as well. So I'm gonna do that right now, and then we're gonna wait 24 hours. Should be super exciting. Let's go take one more peek at this over here. I mean, it's looking really good. And it's finally, the weather is starting to warm up a little bit. I think it's like 60 today. 
So wearing some shorts and t-shirt. All the water starting to evaporate, so that's good for dirt biking. But yeah, it, uh, this bike really turned out pretty good. Can't believe I picked it up for 250 bucks a couple weeks ago. It was a pretty good deal. The case wasn't too hard to fix. And um, I'm surprised it runs as well as it does. All it took was a carb clean, a case fix, a good cleanup, and uh, hopefully that's all it's gonna be. So let's go wait on my phone and see when the messages roll in. Also, the time is 3.57 right now. So the timer starts right now, 3.57 tomorrow. We will stop the clock and see if the bike is sold. Hopefully it will be. All right, so I just posted everything to um, Craigslist as well. As you can see, it's got the picture, the description. Um, I, I only put two pictures up on Craigslist because it takes so long to upload pictures. But as you can see, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, Kawasaki KX80, 950, and it posted to Milwaukee, Oshkosh, and Green Bay. So it's like the surrounding areas. Um, if you post at one spot, you only get a couple people looking at it, but if you post three spots, obviously you're gonna have triple the amount of people looking at it. So if you can post in as many spots as possible, that's the best way to go on Craigslist. I wish there was an option on Craigslist just to post in every single spot you want, but there isn't, so you just have to manually do it. But anyway, hopefully we get a reply, and uh, until now, we're just gonna wait. All right guys, a little update, it's 9.04 p.m. at night. I just checked on my Facebook Messenger app because I wasn't getting any postings or notifications. And my 1996 Kawasaki KX80 that I just posted only has 13 views. And it says, this listing is being reviewed. I also have the 1977 Honda ATC90 up for 550 with 285 views. That hasn't sold yet, but <laughs> why is Facebook reviewing my post with 13 views on it? That doesn't make sense. It's so dumb. My account gets reviewed like every month too. And usually it deletes all the postings, so that's good. But why is that specific listing being reviewed? It's so weird. Facebook, get it together. Like, I'm so sick of having to repost stuff. Um, so now this probably won't be going away until another 24 hours. So this challenge is going to be very, very tricky. Because now I'm relying on Craigslist to sell this bike. So great. So I'm, I'm going to keep you guys updated on this thing. Hopefully the listing will be unreviewed pretty soon. Stay tuned. All right, guys, just got up. It's the next morning, 9.38 a.m. Uh, I re-uploaded the link that was broken before. And now we are looking right here. We got a message from this guy. We got a message from that guy, that guy, um, that guy. So we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, six messages. And one of the guys, oh, there's seven, eight, nine. So there's nine messages and one guy wants to pick it up and then one guy wants a video of it running. So one guy wants to pick it up for 750, I told him that'd be fine. Uh, he's just looking for a truck. So technically, hopefully I can sell it before, what was it, like 325 p.m then I would um, sell the bike within 24 hours for around the $800 mark um, if he finds a truck and commits to it. Otherwise, I'll go to my messages from Craigslist here. Um, we've got this one, scam. We've got this one, scam. You can tell because they're like, they put that in the link right there. They say Kawasaki KX80 950 Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Please, do you still have it for sale? Question mark. And what is the asking price? It's like the asking price is nine fifty. You put it in the message. How dumb can you be? Um, then this one, they put their email. Um, is it still available? That's definitely a scam. And then this one, put their email again on the top. Definitely a scam. So Craigslist, all I got were scams. Not a big surprise there. So I'll keep you guys posted on if it sells. All right guys, unfortunately it is 3.56, so the 24 hours is officially up. Um, I did not sell the bike. I got one offer of 750 with the guy with the truck and then another offer of 700 and both guys didn't show up today. They wanna to come a different time this week. So technically I did not sell it, but 
I have offers on the table. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. The KX80 is going to be gone, but I'm picking up another bike right now. So that will be next video. More to come on that, and more to come on the next bike. So thanks for watching. Go follow my Instagram at 2 underscore vintage underscore, and you can follow the behind the scenes. And um, we're almost at 100K, so make sure you subscribe and like the video. Helps me out a ton. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, we are out.